60 here for Saturday, April the 7th, 2018. So yesterday we had a wonderful Friday. We came away with a sweep. The two games that we had, the Braves and the Jays. And now we look forward to going into Saturday with the two B-bets that we had left over from Thursday. So this gives me a perfect opportunity early in the season to talk about the chase and how this part of the system works. And if for you guys and gals that don't know how, you know, what I mean by chase, this is where it happens. So the two games that we have today, the Cardinals and the Nationals, if you remember, if you've seen, we had these on Thursday as a bets. We tried to win one unit. Whatever your unit is, whether you are a $1 better or a $1,000 better, I don't care. I go by unit size because there's so many, you know, people do different amounts. So whatever it is that you feel like is a unit for you. What we feel like is 1% of our bankroll. The reason for it is because of days like today. So the chase is where we go into to today looking to win what we lost on the games on Thursday plus what we originally wanted, that one unit. So therefore, we use 1% of our bankroll. And I, prom I promise you, and as you've seen in the last couple of days, there's going to be a lot of volume. So 1%, I know it sounds low, but I promise you that's a good amount just to start with. That's a good unit size for this system. A lot of people may tell you, you know, 2%, 3%, whatever. Some people won't tell you any percentage, and that's fine. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with in what you're doing day to day. But for us, it's 1%. So, like I said, the chase part of the system is coming up today. It's what I call the B bet. And that means it's pretty much the second game in the series for whoever we have taken. If they've lost the first game. So, guys, the first game we want to talk about is the Nationals. Now, the reason that I do these videos on a daily basis is because I actually enjoy the tracking and following these teams, keeping up with the money and how it's moved, lines, etc. So, I don't know, you can probably call me a nerd or whatever you want to call me. That's fine. But I enjoy it. So, I'm trying to help you guys out. And that's the part of the chase that really takes the discipline and the work is keeping up with everything. You know, if you did lose a game... Keep track of that. That way, the next day you can need you can do what you need to do to keep the system working. So, with that said, today the Nationals are minus one fifty nine. Thursday, when we had them, they were minus one forty eight. So we lost a dollar forty eight because we put up a dollar forty eight to win a dollar. Now, today we're going to try to win that back plus the dollar unit, the one unit that we lost or we tried to win on Thursday. So one plus 1.48, that's 2.48. So we are trying to win 2.48 units, okay? I'm trying to make this as simple as possible just cause that helps me, it helps so many other people. And that's, you know, I just want to go over that so that we can move forward and, you know, keep up with everything. So anyways, at minus 159, that comes out to 3.94 units to win 2.48. Okay, so I hope that you're staying with me. All you have to do is focus on the 2.48 units. That's what we lost the other day plus what we tried to win. Today we're trying to cover that. All right, so if this happens, if we win, we're up the original unit. We're what we set out to win Thursday. We would be up that original unit. That's the whole goal. That's the uh, name of the game. Okay, so every series that we take on, no matter how many games we have to go in chasing, the ultimate goal is to come out with one unit from that series. Whether it be in game one, whether it be in game two, or whether it be in game three. So just keep that in mind. We're always trying to win that one unit. So if we play 50 series over the next month and a half, that means that we're trying to win 50 units. So that's why I use 1% of whatever I have. That's, you know, whatever you decide to use, that's on you. Like I was talking about earlier, it's the that's the reason. Because it's quite a bit. If you think about that, if you went 1% and you play 50 series, that's 50%. That's half of your bankroll. So that's a pretty great return on investment. So anyways... 
Nationals minus 159 to win 2.48 units. Now on to the second game, the Cardinals. So right now the Cardinals are minus 112, which is a great price. I promise you that you know anytime somebody is a favorite in a game and you get it that low, you're doing very well. This is, like I was talking about the other day, this is kind of a coin flip game. And the reason I say that is because the, the juices have not moved very much at all. The Cardinals are minus 112. The, in the last time I checked, the Diamondbacks are minus 108. So they're right there flirting with that 110, being an even game, and just you know being kind of a coin toss to see what happens. Now the reason for that, I think, is because ultimately the Cardinals are a better team right now. But they are taking on Grinky for the Diamondbacks. So Grinky is good. He's at home, which last year when the season started, you know, for the first probably two months, I believe, at home he was terrible. He was very great on the road, but at home for whatever reason couldn't get it going. So let's keep, let's hope that that continues. I hope that he has a bad day today. And, you know, after that, I don't really care what he does. But today I need him to have a bad day. So with the Cardinals being minus 112, they were minus 125 on Thursday, meaning that we need to win 225 or 2.25 units, making it at minus 112 makes it 2.54 units to win 2.25. So that, with that said, I'm not going to go near the detail I did on the Nationals as far as price and how I come up with that, but you get the gist by now. If, of course, if you ever have any questions about anything, feel free to contact me. You know, if I, I'm not going to call anybody out by name ever, but if you have a question I would like to talk about in the vlog, that way other people that may have that same question, you know, like I was talking about earlier with the price and the price change, if that comes up, we can get it out there and, and more times than not, if you have a question, somebody else is thinking the same thing, they just haven't asked it. So make sure you ask the question and let's talk about it. That's the reason for this vlog, this vlog. That's the reason I set up Twitter and try to have, you know, a few conversations and, and talk about the game as it's going on. And I enjoy that kind of stuff. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. And we will be back every day. Tomorrow, no matter if we've got games or not, we'll have a video. I'm hoping to, you know, have every day that we don't have a game for whatever reason, still have a video up. So I promise you the vlog will have a video video all summer long, all the way through August. So make sure you check that out, like it, follow me on Twitter at the goal sixty. And uh thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. 60% of the time, it works every time.